Yeah, hi everyone, uh, welcome to STKT Vlogs Techie Study. So, as you see, thumbnail uh, we are going to discuss about uh, Azure Data Factory introduction. So, before going to introduction, let me introduce myself. Uh, so, myself Karthik, I have uh, around 12 years of IT experience. So, I have um, uh, worked on multiple technologies like uh, SSIS, SSRS, and uh, ADF, and Azure Synapse Analytics, and I have a little bit exposure on uh, Databricks and uh, AWS as well. and I have completed uh, below certifications and uh, Azure Fundamentals and uh, Administrator Associate, Developer Associate, Data Engineer Associate and Solution Architect, DevOps Engineer Expect. These are the certifications I have completed. So yeah, this is about a brief about myself. So let me go through the uh, Azure Data Factory introduction. So what is Azure Data Factory introduction and uh, we are going to discuss about uh, below topics uh, Azure Data Factory for beginners, what is ADF, what is a data integration service, what is ETL, what is meant by orchestration, right? So data factory for beginners. So before that, let me give you an example. So why we need to maintain the data. So consider like example is DMOT. So DMOT have multiple uh, branches in multiple states. So they are doing the business, multiple, uh, gro I mean, they are doing uh, business, groceries, etc, etc. So they want to know the business, right? So they will maintain the raw data and they will uh, do the uh, transformations. Once transformation is done, they will load the data to warehouse tables. Then they will do the uh, reporting, visualizations. So for that, so they will... Uh, Finance, finance, finance team and marketing team on stocks team. So what are what are the stocks? I mean, what once data is loaded, they will verify. So each uh, um, branch, what is the sales and what are the stocks we have? What are the stocks sold out? So based upon that, so which which stock we need to uh, order to get the particular store, right? So based upon uh, data, they will identify. Um, what is the sales and what are the most growing product those products they will reorder and they will uh, um, get it to the particular stores so for that purpose we are maintaining the data and using the reporting uh, to identify a business and to get more uh, benefits in the um, business for their uh, environment right so now let's go for um, data factory for beginners so Azure Data Factory is a cloud-based ETL and data integration service that allows to create data-driven pipelines for orchestrating and data movement and transforming the data at scale. So here, why we need Data Factory? So most, <coughs> most of the organizations, 70% they are moving to cloud technologies like AWS, Azure Data Factory and GCP, uh, whatever based upon their requirements, uh, they are moving to the clouds, right? Here we are going to discuss about Azure Data Factory. It's uh, compared to AWS, it's cheaper, and uh, we are going to uh, use like here uh, ADF uh, how to implement the architecture and how to use the resources. Everything we are going to discuss about uh, uh, future sessions. So in this we will learn in this blog like we will learn about uh, Microsoft. Uh, Azure Data Factory services. It will combine the data for multiple sources and reformat into analytical models and save the models for querying, uh, for reporting and visualizations. We will use the data. So next, what is ADF? So ADF is defined as integration service, as we know. So the aim of ADF to fetch the data one or more sources to convert them into required format as a relational database or whatever uh, formats we are going to load the data into our destination. So data source might contain noise and we need to filter out um, based upon uh, we have different uh, connectors in ADF to fetch the data and ingest into the tables to ingest into the tables before that we will load the files source source files to we will uh, consider like we have sftp and ftp and uh, different uh, a rest apis and urls those type of data we will fetch it and uh, ingest the data to load the data variety of uh, sources into data lake storage once data lake storage is uh, for landed the files then we will orchestrate the data by creating uh, data driven pipelines 
to transform the data and uh, loading into the uh, pipelines or uh, sorry tables so this is like simple architecture we have uh, aws cloud services and uh, azure and uh, gcp like uh, google um, so these are the multiple uh, sources we have and unperm and uh, so whatever twitter facebook whatever those logs we will fetch it by using data factory we are going to do the transformations and then we will load the data to database once the database tables are loaded then the visualization power bi reports or whatever uh, uh, tabular reports they will fetch the data and they will create the visualizations so what is data integration service data integration involves the collection of data from one or more sources as we discussed earlier uh, previous slide right then includes the process where data may transformed and cleansed argumented additional data to be prepared once data raw, raw data is uh, landed then we will do the cleansed and transform the data finally we will combine the data into store into the data platform to use uh, uh, to use automated by using adf we are going to do the etl process extract transform and load so what is etl so extract is the e in this extraction process data engineers define the data and its source data source identify the source details as subscription resource group and identify the information such as directory a key so data defined by the using set of files a database query or azure blob storage or a, a storage container so transform what is transform data transformation operations can include combining splitting adding deriving removing pivoting columns map fields between uh, data destination and data source right so we can do this transformations in uh, data flow level we have uh, multiple tasks like ssis uh, what are the tasks we have all the tasks we have in uh, data flow level we can do the transformations like adding splitting deriving uh, lookup pivot unpivot uh, filter everything we can do the uh, data flow level so and uh, at the same time we can use uh, um, control flow level i we will check the step by step what is what are those uh, transformations uh, going forward i mean future sessions and load during a load many azure destinations can take data transformed into a flat file or a json or a blob whatever the formats right so the etl job is uh, once the everything is test development is done then we are going to load the data to into test environment and uh, then we will load the data to production once the production system is ready those uh, tables we are going to use it in uh, reporting section so here if you will observe so ingest ingesting the data we are doing multiple sources like uh, application level and we are getting the data and loading into by using data factory we are loading the files to uh, data lake storage like uh, raw format and delta format once the data is loaded uh, some of the organizations will use uh, to do the transformations for azure data breaks and uh, elt process we using synapse analytics uh, process data warehouse so elt process by using uh, adf and then we will load the data to azure sql once data is loaded from there we are going to use the uh, data to power bi reports or whatever uh, reporting tools so this is the flow uh, we are going to follow i will show you what are the flow what is the flow we are going to use in our uh, uh, tutorial so etl uh, versus elt extract transform load we will get the uh, difference between those these uh, raw source data we will get and we will transform and we will load into the warehouse tables and extract load so we will extract the raw, raw source data to uh, storage account then there we are using like synapse analytics whatever uh, polybase we will do the uh, load and transform once uh, files landed then we will load and uh, do the transformation so that is the difference so etl tools azure data factory provides uh, 100 enterprise connectors to robust source of for both code based and code free users to accomplish their data transformation and movements right so we have multiple connectors so whatever the connectors we can use in our tutorial we are going to use those let me show you a few examples 
so service now salesforce dynamics these are all few connectors uh, i am showing here in the screen so we are going to use uh, whatever we can use instead of uh, we don't have like uh, salesforce everything we are going to use uh, synapse analytics storage account and flat files file system and uh, those type of uh, connectors we will create and we will check that uh, flow how it goes and what is meant by orchestration so adf will instruct another service to execute actual work required on its behalf such as a databricks platform and transform a query adf hardly orchestrates the execution of the query then prepare the pipelines to move the data into destination or next step as we discussed right some of the organizations will use to transformation in the databricks level then they will call the databricks notebooks in our azure pipelines so some of the organizations will directly do the transformations in uh, data flow level and uh, idf level <coughs> those uh, data they will load the da data to destination tables and uh, yeah, warehouses those uh, warehouse tables they are going to use in power bi reporting tools or whatever uh, report, different reporting tools so if you see here data sources external data on premises network then they will ingestion do the blob storages by using data factory they are doing the orchestration once that is done then the data will move to the analytical services once that is done then they are using a visualizations to get the reportings to be done so we are going to check like um, uh, multiple uh, source files raw files and csv excel ftp json i will tell you explain you all the connectors once data landed to i mean files will landed to adls by using adls uh, we are going to create a storage accounts and containers once that is done then we are going to move the data to azure sql as a etl etl uh, extract transform load so then um, ELT also we will cover by using Synapse Analytics Server and finally once data is loaded to the warehouse tables uh, Power BI or will use the I mean, visualization or reporting tools. So resource groups in one resource group we are going to create in one resource group we are going to use below resources like uh, create uh, uh, ADLS storage account and uh, create uh, Azure data factory Azure SQL Azure key vault everything we are going to um, uh, create the resource group I mean resources under a resource group so we are going to check this in future I mean uh, coming sessions uh, this is about uh, overall uh, area of introduction uh, brief and um, so that is about yeah please uh, if, if you are watching first time please subscribe and watch stay tuned for uh, more videos and that's it bye bye Thank you.